what's going on youtube how are y'all doing hope you're all having a wonderful day uh today we're jumping back into the scp universe here with the exploring series we're going to check out um scp 3999 i am at the center of everything that happens to me uh so no real idea of what to expect from this one but from the title it sounds like maybe it has something to do with like someone who has the ability to manifest or make their own reality or something like that you know so that could be pretty interesting i'm eager to uh, hop in and check out what this one was about as always links will be down below in the description to the exploring series channel and to his original video here without my commentary and reaction so if you would like to go and uh click those links check out his video um give it a like if you enjoy his video check out his channel he's got a lot of content on there for the scp universe as well as others uh so if you like his stuff give him a sub he definitely deserves the support um we're doing this reaction live from our youtube members if you'd like to come in here and hang out and join our discussions that we have before during and after the videos we'd love to have you guys come in here you can also get uh, up to a week's worth of early access to videos if that's interest to you uh we also have a sub discord channel as well as other benefits so if you check, uh, click the join button down below you can check those out see if any of those have any interest for you regardless i just appreciate you guys hanging out appreciate you watching the videos taking the time of your day to do so well with all that being said let's get into this video so again this is scp uh 39.99 i am at the center of everything that happens to me volume's good on we go all righty uh boom scp 3999 i am at the center of everything that happens to me it's sometimes said that perception is reality and for our typical existence that might often be the case the scp universe has a tendency to change our rules however and reality is a much more fluid concept there SCP-3999 is a complicated piece about both perception and reality, and what might happen when an entity can control both. This SCP is not like most others, and so- Well, yeah, I mean, if you can control people's perception, you technically can control your reality, because people's beliefs tend to alter their perception of reality and or create their reality, you know? So- Something will quite like this SCP is not like most others, and something will quite likely get lost in summarization. But let's begin. <laughs> SCP-3999 is not written like a normal SCP. I have no idea what art to use for this video, so here's a bunch of pictures of puppies and kids. I did one of my favorite things from from the exploring series man is his little little excerpt explanations of his art when he doesn't know what to use like chef's kiss anyway <laughs> scp-3999 is not written like a normal scp report and glancing through it will show partial sentences ramblings strike throughs and few clear answers before we go through the bulk of the report it's probably best if I spoil the ending first. Yikes. To give Spoils. context to everything else. Spoils. SCP-3999 is an entity capable of bending and changing reality to a high degree. This entity was somehow contained by the Foundation and placed in an airtight cell at the bottom of a kilometer-long shaft. Like, when he says it's contained and I see the pictures of these puppies, I'm like, it was somehow contained in a puppy. And I'm like, what? What? That can't be what it is. And placed it in an airtight cell at the bottom of a kilometer long shaft lined with acid resistant plates and Scranton reality anchors. Yikes. A researcher, James Talleran, was assigned to SCP-3999 and disappeared almost immediately afterwards. His body was later discovered at the bottom of the containment cell Although no one had any knowledge of 3999's existence, and none of the Foundation databases showed any record of it. Damn. The bulk of- So he essentially was able to- Sounds like that guy got killed somehow, or he erased them, and then he erased everyone's perception of that SCP. Like, they didn't know about it. The SCP-3999- well, His body was the nine. A researcher, James Talleran, 
was assigned to SCP-3999 and disappeared almost immediately afterwards. Right. His body was later discovered at the bottom of the containment cell, although no one had any knowledge of 3999's existence. Right, okay. And none of the Foundation databases showed any record of it. Okay, so yeah. So 3999 essentially altered reality so that the SCP Foundation would have no knowledge of it, and this man was killed. The bulk of the SCP-3999 document was found as a text file on Talleran's phone. So, 3999 is a highly powerful reality bender. But, where is it? Why did Talleran die? And why does no one remember it? The answers are in the document, but not exactly cleanly spelled out. The report is basically evidence of a battle between the entity and Talleran. Hmm. as this reality bender decided to take a special interest in this specific researcher. Let me read some text at the start to give you an idea. SCP-3999 cannot be contained at the present moment, and currently poses a ZK-class end-of-reality scenario. Yikes. The most advisable course of action is for researcher Talleran, believed to be the focal point of SCP-3999, to remove himself from contact with all Foundation sites and personnel to avoid further collateral damage to Foundation property. It is theorized that if researcher Talleran is contained in an extremely secluded area, then the destructive capabilities of SCP-3999 will temporarily cease. Cease is crossed out, however, followed by stop, be contained, and preserve some remnants. It goes on to say that Talleran should be removed from all human contact, followed by suggesting Talleran to commit suicide, but that's also crossed out. Then it says Talleran cannot leave the Foundation, which is also crossed out, and replaced with saying Talleran should remove himself from contact okay. with all animal life. Okay, so he... This being is... all. I think these are indications of, of this being altering reality every time. I think is what's happening committed suicide and then the guy the being probably altered reality and brought him back from committing suicide uh having no contact with the sp you know at all essentially removing her from the scp that being crossed out reality being changed again etc cetera, etc cetera. i think that's what's happening i guess we'll find out as we go along here like i said this is not typical of an scp document and it's easy to be left confused these statements are the beginning of the process by which the Entity is torturing Talleran. The Entity is capable of bending reality to suit its whims, mm -hmm. and it's conceivably powerful enough to accomplish anything it wishes, but it has set its sights entirely on Talleran. It proceeds to force Talleran to suffer, die, and watch others die, over and over for its own amusement. Jesus. It describes sending trained Foundation agents to execute Talleran's mother and father, along with his sister. It discusses how Talleran was forced to watch as his sister was nailed to a wall and lit on fire. Jesus. All of his colleagues that have had contact with Talleran are summarily executed or poisoned, including the O5 Council. The report then goes into containing 3999 in another SCP, 2432, an anomalous hotel room. This results in the creation of a dimensional anomaly that leads to an infinite hotel. A number of strange organisms exist in this alternate dimension, such as armor-plated wolves, large cephalopods called behemoths, and crabs using gutted PlayStation 2s as shells. The uh fuck? Exploration teams also found an entity superficially resembling a human, called Researcher Talleran, but they executed it after it asked about SCP-3999. 3999 is removed from 2432, causing the alternate dimension to disappear, and the report continues. It continually alternates between keeping Talleran with 3999 and keeping him away from it, and occasionally having him terminated. Talleran has an interview with the Foundation doctor, but claims that he feels like he's in a dream. He says that reality is starting to feel less real. Mm -hmm. When he asks the doctor his name, the doctor apparently just makes a noise with his mouth, and Talleran becomes increasingly confused, 
wondering how a word could be redacted in a normal conversation. Talloran continually battles with 3999, attempting to remove himself from the situation or otherwise nullify 3999's power, but he's unsuccessful. The situations that 3999 involve Talloran in become increasingly strange, involving characters from Harry Potter, Candy, the Church of the Broken God, other SCPs, Patton Oswalt, Buddhism, and cats. At one point, Talloran is random. shown in 3999's containment cell from the format of a screenplay as he slams on the door begging to be let out, saying that he's trapped. He finally says that he's trapped in whatever this place is with this thing, and there's no outside reality anymore. But he struggles to understand exactly what this thing is. It seems that Talloran is starting to gain some awareness of his predicament, and slowly gaining more control. Interesting. He attempts to contain 3999 using a strange recursive joke, resembling the start of an aristocrat's joke. Well, obviously, I think the title kind of clues a little bit into this, but it's some kind of SCP that is able to create reality somehow based off of potentially your fears or something like that. So, like, maybe this Talleran guy thinks that this SCP is going to do these things to him, so then it happens, you know, with his family being murdered and having to witness it and you know etc 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 all these different things and then the reality like whenever Talloran actually dies the reality seems to get altered and he gets brought back and then having to go through this and then as time is going by and more and more things are happening he's starting to realize more and more that he's actually causing these events to happen to himself and so he's gaining more control and realization over it and then maybe he comes to realize that he's actually the SCP-399, or 3999, something like that, I think. That's where I think this is going, anyway. Joke. But a strange re or control. He attempts to contain 3999 using a strange recursive joke, resembling the start of an aristocrat's joke, but it seems to fail. The text begins to show more attempts to contain 3999 using a melon, or a grave, or a roach motel. These attempts are all striked through and fail. Talloran continues to be tortured with tapeworms, executions, family deaths, inflation, and more nonsense. Talloran attempts. You know, it, like when he said inflation, I'm like, how how is you know things getting more expensive going to kill him? But then I'm like, oh, it probably like inflated him to a point where like he exploded or something. You know different kind of inflation. But that's where my, my brain is at the moment. Anyway. Deaths. Talloran continues to be tortured with tapeworms, executions, family deaths, inflation, and more nonsense. Talloran attempts to define 3999 as something besides a reality bender, proclaiming it to be things such as Mike Pence, several moldy blankets, SCP-055, a murderous penguin, Gary Gygax's kidney, the a fuck? pillow, papaya and mango salad, brutalist architecture, and so on. These are all nullified. SCP-3999 is contained using the same procedures as SCP-2845, the deer, with all of the containment personnel being Talloran. The report descends even further into nonsense, repeating the word only a great number of times. Then we finally get an interview log between Talloran and SCP-3999, and Talloran claims that he's finally in charge. We don't get to see 3999's dialogue due to data corruption, but this is the most control we've seen from Talloran so far. We learn that 3999 has been torturing him for over 3 million years, Jesus. but he's survived, as opposed to 3999, who he says has never lived at all. Talloran is numb to the horror and pain, and is prepared to keep fighting. It ends apparently with Talloran killing himself, which manages to kill 3999 as well, and reset things back to normal. 
The foundation has no idea what 3999 is or was, and no record of it exists. Interesting. So again, I still think it's a situation where, like, yeah. Either Halloran got in contact with the SCP and then... Again, the SCP gave Talaran the ability to alter reality or, you know, almost kind of like, you know, a genie in a bottle kind of thing, you know? He, Talaran gets this, uh, comes in contact with his SCP, and then he has this control, but he doesn't realize it, so his, like, loose wild thoughts or whatever and fears that are, you know that go through everyone's mind on a regular basis, get created as reality kind of a situation. This is an SB that I was thinking of, but it's definitely an interesting one so far. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's maybe along those kind of lines where whoever would have con come in contact with this SCP, whether it was Talon or someone else, they would have been granted control over creating reality by being in, 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 um, with, by just coming in contact with this SCP, essentially, I think. And then, again, they're kind of, whatever thoughts would create reality in potential ways until they, they realize what's going on and they gain control of their kind of, I guess loose random thoughts like if something like that's been going on for three million years and then you start to uh come to the realization of what's going on and start to gain control of your thoughts and uh how to i guess how they are manifesting you know reality around you you would then gain control of it and then you know, I, I don't know but i i feel like that's kind of where the story is going kind of a situation like that perhaps and then through that, you know, Talaran becomes the actual SCP himself, and thus to destroy that SCP kills himself, resetting everything, so that then Talaran and that SCP never existed. Kind of a situation. I feel like that that's what's happening in the story. But anyway, that's, but, and, and as things are getting crossed out, that's numbers of instances of realities being altered. So... We have a powerful reality bender that took a perverse interest in a specific individual and tortured him for three million years before yeah. the cycle was suddenly broken. This is certainly enough for an SCP, and isn't that dissimilar to the plot of I have no mouth and I must scream. But SCP-3999 also carries another angle with it, a meta angle. Essentially, 3999 represents the author themselves going through the process of horror writing, subjecting characters to countless whims, but erasing them and trying something different, ah. over and over. We get the best look at this angle in a box towards the bottom of the report, written from the author's perspective. They describe a few different SCP ideas they toyed with involving Talaran, but nothing was sticking. They couldn't get Talaran out of their heads though, spending weeks thinking about ideas, until eventually they had an incident involving sleep paralysis. They hallucinated Talaran rising up at the foot of their bed, laughing and clutching a dagger. He was joined by a multitude of other horrors that the author had been thinking about for the last year, all various SCPs. They asked the author why they spent so much time bothering with idiotic horror creations. Talaran then took the dagger and disemboweled the author, and they woke up followed by immediately writing SCP-3999. Interesting. That this is, is not, meant as a swan song for- That is not at all obviously what I thought was happening, but okay. It's an interesting, like you said, kind of meta writing creation where there's a story that happens in there and then the story is revealed that it's actually the author writing the story and the reality is the story itself being altered and changed by the writer. That's kind of cool. CP3999. This is meant as a swan song for the author, the last thing they write for the SCP wiki in order to break free from an addiction, just as 3999 was addicted to torturing Talaran. 
Meta concepts run all the way through the report, and I'd be lying if I said I understood them all, as many are unique to the author. SCP-3999 is undoubtedly a unique SCP, both yeah. in concept and form, Interesting. and it has its share of both fans and detractors. There is an argument that it's less of an SCP and more of a tale, but its rating on True. the site speaks for itself either way. Lord Stonefish certainly poured themselves into this work, to a far greater degree than most SCP authors, and that seems to have worked out, at least as far as popularity is concerned. The SCP wiki is filled with grotesque horrors and nightmares, and fans continually crave more, making us not that much different than SCP-3999 either. Alright, let's see what quote we got here. <clears throat> Tolerant. Okay, pause. Tolerant. Who are you exactly? Ask yourself that. Who are you before a human who is ready to fight? You're nothing but the primordial ooze. And I am ready to fight. I'm numb to your bullshit, because here's the thing about horror and weirdness. The more you reveal of it, the less effect it has. I'm sick of your horror. I'm sick of you. So yeah, I mean, like I said through the video, I thought it was going to be a situation where, you know, there was some kind of object, it could alter reality based on the, the person who comes in contact with its perception. That person, Talarin, uh, their, you know, random thoughts, fears, etc., cetera, uh, were being created as reality. And then every time, um, you know, something got this uh, severe or happened to him that would cause him to be injured or died it would reset and bring him back kind of a situation and so that played on for a number of three million years as it said until eventually uh, over time you know tower and gain control of his thoughts and how they affect his reality and then was able to gain control of the scp and then through doing that then killed himself then destroying the scp itself and wiping existence, resetting existence back to normal, which is then why Talarin's body or whatever, I think it said it was at the beginning that his body was found, uh, and then the SCP disappeared, you know? that That's kind of what I thought was, was essentially gonna happen, but it turns out not at all, and it was just an interesting kind of take on the idea of the author trying to come up with different ways to you know, create a story and him erasing and rewriting is what is altering Talarin's reality. You know, the, uh, the the person in the story, the protagonist. So interesting idea and interesting take on that. I, I, I kind of like that. And I, I like kind of certain kind of meta wall, you know, fourth wall, I guess, breaking uh, concepts and ideas and stories if it's done right. You know, it sounds like it was done pretty well in this instance so interesting i might want to actually read the actual article uh or maybe check out um you know maybe the vulgan or mr illustrator or anyone else that might have uh, another take on this or a more in-depth take on this because that would that that's kind of fascinating so anyway um so yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys this was scp 3999 i am at the center of everything that happens to me links down below in the description to this video without my commentary and reaction into the exploring series channel if you do me a favor if you enjoyed this video go to the exploring series channel click that link below uh give this video if it's a like check out his channel he has a lot of great content for the scp universe as well as uh, other universes i think he's got stuff for lord of the rings um and, and some other stuff uh, i think he even has some 40k stuff so uh check out his channel if you like his content give him a sub we're doing this reaction live from our youtube members as you can see you'd like to come in here and join our discussions uh, that we have before during and after we'd love to have you guys come in here uh there is uh, a sub discord channel that you guys can come in and hang out and talk in as well as uh the uh, uh getting early access to my videos up to a week and a bunch of other benefits so if any of that has any interest for you click on the uh join button down below take a look see if any of uh that has any interest for you um but regardless i just appreciate you guys coming in hanging out uh, appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to watch the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like and a sub as it helps me and it helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming in, guys. We'll see you on the next